Hi everyone, <clears throat> I've just got back from the car boot, did find quite a few bits and pieces so I'm just going to go through them one at a time and just try and get my light right, like that, hopefully you can see. I found this um, like a, it's like a straw knitted bag but I thought it was great that um, although it's got the pattern on here you can still put some lace on it. You know, and I know one of my granddaughters will absolutely love that when I've done it up for her. Because they're bag collectors. And it uh, doesn't look like it's been used at all. So I managed to get that one. So I'm quite thrilled with that. Um, I found a wooden fan. Uh, I do collect the fans because I do like to uh, alter them. And this is a complete wooden one. So that's uh, quite nice, that one. Alter that. You know, you put gems in the flowers. You can cover it with lace. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm quite thrilled at finding an old wooden one. Okay, that's that one. I did manage to find um, some of these. Because it is going to be coming up to Easter. So they'll come in handy. I'll put them in some of these parcels. Some of the uh, little chicks. <laughs> Little fluffy chicks they are, but uh, somebody will make use of them somewhere. And I did find myself a pair of these. Let me just pop them back in. So I keep everything in plastic bags. Um, if we can just get them out of the bag. Look at that. Like a bird, swan scissors. So, quite thrilled with that, because you often need very pointed ones and you never get to uh, uh, find any that's decent enough to get into little nooks and crannies. So I'm quite pleased with those. And they kept there. <coughs> you have to say, excuse me, I got up again this morning. With, on Friday when we were in school, I was absolutely frozen solid out on the playground for half an hour, because on a Friday we have afternoon play. It was damp, it was raining, and I've ended up with yet another cold. Anyway, managed to find these. It's uh, just a game, um, but you know, I to be honest, I could do with them in school. <laughs> yeah, you know, I could. I could actually do with them in school. So I might take them in because the little boy I work with would absolutely. They'd be thrilled. You know, really good for him. Yeah, I actually might have to take them in. I was going to use them as tags, but he could do with them. <laughs> Probably do that. But we shall see. Unless I can find some in school. Right, I also found this. It's the box I was after. And that's nothing. That's the lid. Never, I don't need the shapes inside. But the, uh, it fit like that, you see. So you can make that into something and put a hinge on it, maybe. So it opens up. So I'm going to be doing something with that. Take the shapes into school. I'm sure the kids will find them useful for something. Um, I did manage to find an original reel of um, extra hard Savoy buttonhole gimp. And I do like that. Because you can use it for anything. And I was chuffed with the size of the reel. Because that will do as a table when it's all gone eventually. So that's that. You can change it, put a round disc of uh, chipboard on it and stick it in as a, make a table from it. Now I also found these, um, I mean they were four for a pound and they're like a stainless steel. They're only small but because I mix colours and I am always doing something, you know you can mix your powders in there, mix your colours, the paints or whatever. So I did get those, I got four of those for a pound. So I'm quite thrilled at that. Because um, it saves me using things that I'm going to destroy eventually. I also managed to find these. It says Little Tales from Long Ago. And the four little books. But look at them. And what I like about them is the vintage pictures and the parts of the stories. But the nice little pictures that can be used. So look out for those. I picked that for the set of four up for 50 pence. And there's quite a few pictures in there can be used. Also managed to find this one. I mean, after doing the um, the book that I did 
uh, for Chris. Um, I mean, these were the annuals we used to have. I remember these years and years and years ago. And uh, they were all the vintage pictures in. Plus, it's nice to go down memory lane and look at, uh, you know, Faith... What's that? Domagoo, Bob Hope. Barbara Stanwyck. What I like to do is to look at the jewellery they used to wear in them dales, days. Even the nails, because even the nails were all done nicely and everything. You know, so, yeah. Maureen O'Hara, beautiful woman. So they'll come in handy. <coughs> for doing other minis. I found these as well, which obviously have not been opened. These are from Ikea. Um, and they're nice picture frames. You get three small, oh, small, a large, a medium and two small, when all the things are in there to hang them, so they'll be nice to alter. Um, I did find this bag, like a vintage bag, look at that, that's stunning. It's just, it's heavy, with lots and lots, there's no chain to it, but it's heavy and it's just chocker. With beads. So I did like that one. I then found some miniatures. Because you never know what you're going to do with a miniature. You never know what you're going to need it for. You know. what? When will it come in handy or whatever. So what I've done. <laughs> I picked up the little horse. Because that will go nice on a mini. For a child. Won't it? That's that one. Uh, the kitchen one, which will go, you know, on a mini or something like that. It's also given me an idea to do something, minus those. So, I'll see. Violin. Tiny one. She was selling uh, all miniatures for uh, doll's houses. and There wasn't that much there left, but I decided to get what I could. Um, now, before I show you the jewellery, there's a couple of bits I want to show you. I did manage to find some more vintage lace. And uh, this is vintage, like I got the other week, like Ray brought in for me. Lovely panel. Absolutely gorgeous. So fine, so delicate. And again, round about eight, late 1800s, early 1900s. So I was absolutely thrilled with that one. Another panel. I mean, they, are, they need a wash. But to be honest, I'd just colour them. So you don't ruin them. Absolutely stunning. Nice panel for a book. And then I found some of the corners, like a, which can be used for book corners. You know. I suppose to be four of them, but I couldn't find them all. Uh, some lace. Like that. So again, it's all vintage lace. This one's gorgeous. Look at that one. I mean, they badly need cleaning and that, and I suppose this one I could possibly um, soak and whatever. Um, again, another one of those panels. So these would have been either a, a cuff, I think, would have gone around a cuff. Uh, some nice lacy one, little flowered lace. Very vintage, this is. Good metre of that. And then the collar. This is actually go the collar that goes with the cuffs. Gorgeous. Original. Late 1800, early 1900 um, vintage lace. I also managed to get this, but I got this for the flowers. I wanted these because these are nice buds that will, uh, you know, be taken off, taken apart and whatever. Might think of doing something with the vase eventually, but right now, no. <laughs> So that's that. I did find uh, one of these, which can be sandy. If you sand metal down, then you paint it properly and it won't come off. Spray hairspray over it out there before you do the painting. Um, so that's a nice little thing to alter. So I'm going to do that. Um, I also found this basket. Love it. Look at that. Brilliant, brilliant basket to alter. That's going to look fabulous when it's done. Lovely. Chuffed to pieces, I found that. 
piece, or well, this is a, a garment. Now, what I wanted it for was the lace. Look, apart from the material underneath, look at the lace. And it's like a dress, and it's all lace, lace panels. So, um, obviously, won't go to waste. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just go through this uh, jewellery. I'm just going to have a drink because I'm really dry. Oh. Also came across these. Some more of those. They get, they're dried flowers, but we alter them and put pictures in and whatever, so there is that. And then these. Nice bag that can be altered or whatever. But look. It's got all these wooden numbers in. And uh, I think there's some smaller than that. Yeah, look. It was in a game. So I didn't really want the board until I got it home. It was a board game. She wouldn't split it. When I got home, look at that. Nice piece of birch wood. And, um, oh, great, because that'll make a plaque. That, that'll be a, a, you know, I, I do want a picture, to do a picture uh, with lots of medium and things like that on. And now I can, because that's ideal size, and Ray will obviously fix on the things on the back for me to hang it when I've done it. I'll drop one of those there somewhere. Oh, there it is. But great for the, um, you know, what I want. And there's a bag full of them, look. So, that's a good thing. I also managed to get some of this, or oh, some flowers. Before I show you the jewellery, I'll just show you these. Just, I mean those, for a pound. Nice colours, nice roses and whatever. So I'm not going to miss that. Plus, I got some of this. It's a massive, massive curtain. Massive. Heaps and heaps of uh, material on it. But what I like about it is the pattern, the lace. Look at it. That is gorgeous. And that will be cut up and shared out because there's loads of it. And I paid a pound. Oops. Oh, flower. Put it in there. A pound for all of that. Right. Let's get down to the jewellery. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit. Because I need to make sure you can see everything. So if we do it there, you can see it. I just want to show you these. I've been making my stick pins, my crystal stick pins again. See, I'm using up some beads. So I just thought I'll show you those. I love the crystals, love them. Very elegant stick pins. <coughs> Right, let me just put those away, and here we go. Now, what I did find was these, the hair clips. But looking at them, I can prise them apart. Hopefully. <laughs> so, Mrs J, as my children in school call me, will test me to see if I can get that off. And, of course, I can. There you go, and that'll go nice in a project, or I can dismantle them and uh, use them elsewhere. And I've still got a clip I can use and decorate up for something else. So that's that. Just try and get rid of the rubbish, so save me doing it later. I got several of those. Somewhere there's some more. <laughs> oh God, I'm absolutely full of blooming coal. There's another one, look. Got that one and that one. But they're nice for decoration. You want a bit of bling on a project. Here's another one. There we go. Right, I found this. And I didn't want the ring. The ring doesn't interest me. Let me get some scissors. But the heart did. Yeah. I'm not sure if it opens. Probably not. But I did like the heart. Very fancy. Oh, it's a nice ring if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> Ooh, I got a new ring. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. I'm just going to pop the jewellery in there. Um, also got this. 
Um, you know, I mean, it was 50p. It's full of diamantes. And it's a stereo necklace. Hope you can see that. Seem like that. Well worth 50p. Uh, found some earrings for flower centres. Um, these earrings. Like that. So they always come in handy for something. These. Oh, don't bother with the fastener things. Don't bother with them. Take the feathers off, of course. Don't want those on. But uh, nice big hats or charms. So that's that. Diamante hat encrusted with diamantes. Look at that. Encrusted. <laughs> Just thinking about it. The little boy I look after. That was one of his wow factor words this week. Well, last week, encrusted. <laughs> Bless him. Um, let's have a look. A nice, so I'm going to get it all tangled up. Nice pearl necklace. Beautiful pearls. These are the nice pearls I like for my stick pins. So I'm chuffed at those. And then Ray found this one. So apart from the vintage bow, which will come in handy, which is a pin. Like that. Then there's just loads. These are acrylic beads, pearls. But look at them for luster on them for stick pins. Fabulous. Like you say, there's a pin. Which can be used on a project. Bling it up a bit. Love, love, love these. Look at that. Do you remember when we made the love seat? It was supposed to be a dressing table. It ended up as a love seat. A similar sort of thing that's on them. It just needed a quick wipe. But they can be alcohol linked up or anything. So they're great. Love those. Found this one as well. Which I do like. It's got the mother of pearl in underneath the acrylic. So that's that. Nice ring that I'm going to dismantle shortly. With lots of flowers. Six flowers. Show you that and hopefully you can see it. Another ring. Look at that for a, a flower centre. It just needs a pearl putting in and I've got one of those obviously. Great. Um, these earrings. Uh, they're only 10p. I had a bird charm on. A rose charm on. A pearl. A heart. And some dangly chain. So well worth that. Again this was only 50p. And from what I've got is. The bow. Look at the bow. Pretty. A heart. A locket that opens. Pearl. Another heart. Fancy heart. One of the acrylic roses. And a uh, little thing, acrylic bead, and one of these diamante ones. So, a uh, nice, nice chain. Well worth getting that. I then picked three of these up for 50p. So, these are the um, proper gemstone. These are uh, glass beads, and these are acrylic pearls. But for 50p, good collection. Uh, again, that's the other earrings, so I've got those. There's another. This is a pearl necklace, glass pearl. Nice pearls, really nice, pretty pearls. Uh, then found this, which is just one of those, you know, like a string necklace thing. But look at them, it's got the diamantes on. Nice big pearls, lots of different beads. And it's these that cost the money. And I picked that up for, I think, 50p. So that was good. Pair of earrings. There should be two of them anyway. In green. They're nice. Also got those. Nice rose necklace. 
pendant. Uh, and then this one, which um, if you look, let me just undo this. Um, it's like the large diamantes, like that. And then hanging from it are all these chains of diamante in different sizes. With the bauble chain, the bo uh, bobble chain, and the beads, and it's a double chain as well. So yeah, great. Nice find. This bracelet, like a copper bracelet, love hat, beads, metal rose, nice diamond, um, you know, bling things, nice cross, look at that cross, pearl leaf, mother of pearl leaf, the rose, more beads, beautiful little pendant, and a, a diamante shoe, look at that. Um, then this heart with the beads, nice glass heart, nice chain. Flower centers or flowers on their own. Um, let's see what this one is. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, it's one of those where the chain moves. Oh, and there's the other earring that I was looking for. So look, nice leaf. Diamante leaf. Hope you can. S oh come on! I hope you can see. Can you see? Look, pretty. I hope you saw the other things. That was the, the last thing I was showing. And. Um, Oh, if not, I'll have to do it again. Again, one of these. Nice ornate key. Little locket that opens. Another little locket. A bird. Another love heart. And another love heart as well. With some nice chain on that, actually. Uh, and then this gorgeous little bow with a pearl. Beautiful. Then I got these, which were from a pair of shoes, but they can be used for anything. With the buckles, kept the buckles as well. That's the other earring. Another bracelet, uh, sorry, pendant, necklace, nice bling. Um, and this was in the box, oh it's come off, but never mind. I'll, I'll fix that. And it's just like a little ornament type of thing, like a fire guard, which was for the um, doll's house. But I don't know, I might use them actually for someone else. And then glass beads, which you know me, never say no to them. Some nice glass beads. And last of all was this. I'm not quite sure what it is. Ah, right. It's a necklace and it's got tape, like a tape recorder, a tape, should off a tape recorder, some bling musical notes and uh, a, roller, a roller boot charm. So hopefully, I'm just going to go back over the last few because I don't think they showed, you know, just looking at these with the ornate key and all that, the hats, the earrings, diamante earrings. Those earrings. Again, like I was saying about this one. Um, the big chain. Diamante chain and all the little diamante chains hanging from it. That heart. Beautiful thing for a ring. That pendant. Diamante pendant. Just lots and lots of lovely goodness. Again, you know, gorgeous. Like that one. All the little charmy bits on. And blings. Look at that. Beautiful, that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to 
get on and get it all dismantled ASAP and move on to something else. Get something else done today. But I am going to dismantle all the jewellery and get it done while I can. Um, because I can't be bothered doing it later on. I want an easy day today. So that's it for now. I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.